Welcome back to Egypt. Today is our final day in Luxor, and we're ending our stay here on a high note, visiting the tombs of Egypt's pharaohs. Good morning. Today we're going to visit the Valley of the Kings. We booked a tour to get there um, because it's very hard to reach by yourself. It's huge as well. There's no bus going to the tomb. It's very hard to get around. And apparently tourists got supposed to leave at 8. And they just came to our room to tell us that Alti, they're already here. Perfect timing. Yeah, it's okay. I'm awake. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from England. From England? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm Egyptian. <laughs> from here in Luxor? Yeah, from Luxor. Yeah. Thank you. When you think of ancient Egyptian burial sites, odds are you're probably thinking of the iconic Giza pyramids. While the pyramids have become the symbol of ancient Egypt, the majority of royal tombs were actually cut into rock in what is now known as the Valley of the Kings, located on the west bank of the Nile River. The isolated position of the valley was intended to better protect the graves from tomb raiders. We're going on a tour to peek inside the burial chambers of some of ancient Egypt's greatest rulers. Alright, made it to our first stop. No, thank you. No, no, no. No, thank you. Already getting hassled and hustled here while getting out of the car. So we spent about one hour uh, in the car picking up various people. It was not that far, but we had to pick up a lot of people. And we're on a guided tour today in a van with a guide. Not really what we usually do, but hey, uh, it's not so easy to do just by yourself. You need to otherwise rent a taxi or it's not like you can go between the different sides. First stop of the day are these huge statues right behind us. They mark the entrance or the beginning of the Valley of the Kings. If you're coming from the other side, from the east bank of the Nile River, we're now on the west bank. These statues are called the Colossi of Memnon. They're 16 meters high and they're actually weighing 600 tons each and carved out of a single piece of rock. You can see that quite clearly on the left side here. It's still quite intact, pretty weathered of course. It's still carved Built out of Built 3,400 years ago. 3,400 years ago. Built out of a single piece of rock. The right one, not so much anymore. It has been damaged in earthquakes and just the passing of time. And it had to be restored quite extensively. So there you can see it is now uh, made up of different rocks all together. But this is the start of any tour to the Valley of the Kings. A uh, very popular tour group stop and um, also our first stop for the day. We just arrived at the Valley of the Kings. Lucky man, Going to get to the... Buy a ticket. When we arrived, the guide was like, yeah, cameras are not allowed inside the Valley of the Kings. Oh, oh, crap. But then he said, unless you buy a permit of 300 Egyptian pounds, it's about like $20. We're gonna take these little carts to get uh, through the Valley of the Kings and to get to the tombs that we're going to visit today. Guys, tickets! It's not possible anymore for us to explain inside, so I'm gonna give an idea outside and then you go to see the tombs by yourselves. The point was the Pharaoh had already passed away, he's dead. See pictures explain the journey in the underworld. And the journey was in a river. So the most famous picture is the Pharaoh on the boat sails in the underworld and many gods and goddesses around, like Horus, the falcon-headed god, the god-men. God-men was the god of fertility. Well, I didn't show this to my wife. <laughs> She's gonna be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Very Western. <laughs> Alrighty, so our guide is not gonna come with us to the tombs. He's not allowed to enter the tombs anymore, he said, so. Yeah. Maybe just this guy? Maybe, what did he do? <laughs> Makes you wonder. So we're on our way now to the tombs. Yeah. It's pretty dry out here, pretty hot. Yeah, this is uh, actually this area here, the whole area is one of the hotter places on earth I read somewhere. So uh, I can imagine why. I can imagine it gets really, really hot because you have the sand and you're in this valley, which I mean, just really traps the heat. So I can imagine how hot it must get here during summertime. I didn't imagine it would be this big though. I mean, this, like, it's an incredible big valley. And it was home. Uh, it was home to the tombs for pharaohs for over 500 years. For the 63 different tombs that were found here, 
Uh, you can not visit all of them because they, they have this kind of rotating system uh, because there's like quite a bit of damage being done uh, because of people visiting them. I think on average people uh, leave behind two or three grams of sweat when they visit a tomb <laughs> or visit somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so that like damages the walls and the paintings and things. So they make this rotating base system. Uh, you get three included in your ticket, so you can choose which ones are guide recommended or some. Uh, some. And you also have the the tomb of Tutankhamun and Seti, which you have to pay extra for. It. So all these holes in the mountain that you see people going through, all of those are essentially tombs. So there's one over there, there's one over there, there's one over there. Now we're looking for either number six or eight. Yep. By walking around here, you get a really good idea of the size and scale of this place. It's just right. massive. So we are here. And where's six and eight? Oh, we passed it. <laughs> oh, we passed it. Yeah, it's here. It's six and eight. Okay. Okay, we have to go back. About to enter the first tomb, we're probably gonna get stopped because they want to see our photo permit. We paid a lot of money for it. I'll show it to anyone who asks. I did not expect. I really thought we would be crawling through tunnels like we were at the pyramids. They probably found thousands of artifacts here in this room because they used to um, bury the pharaohs and members of the royal family, the tombs of whom they found here with a lot of artifacts that facilitate their crossing into the afterlife. Let's go, let's go. No, ain't go nobody got time for this. <laughs> I like the down part better. <laughs> That's pretty hot down there as well. Like this. Nice little workout there. <laughs> <laughs> Where's six? I think it's supposed to be right there. Tomb six of Ramses the Ninth. Ah, okay, I thought it was tomb nine. Wow, let's just look at this. Wow. So richly decorated. So well preserved. Yeah. I love the colors. They have a little bit of a pastelish orange yeah, vibe still going the, on here. All the colors are very well preserved. Like, Carvings were still like really like sharp. I mean, just like it was done yesterday or something. Incredible. There's like a man here that's, that's been carved out, but you can still see one of the colors. First time I see this here. Wow. So we're right here at the burial chamber. It's uh, maybe less big and less impressive than what we saw before, but like, look at the YouTube behind us. We're just here in time, but let's get out of here. Burial chambers are like saunas. It's so hot in there. It's harder than it is outside when you're just in the valley. Is it just me or are you blinded by the lights as well? Yeah, my eyes take like a little bit of adjustment because it's so dark on the inside. It's so bright because the sand is literally in the mountains. It's literally white here and then the sun is really reflecting on it. And we come from this like dark cave. Well, where am I? <laughs> Time to visit site number two of Ramses the Fourth before we were at Ramses the Ninth at site number six and it gets, gets confusing. Mathematics. Right, right, made it to tomb number two of Ramses the Fourth. A really nice, pretty long hallway. Wow, in the back it seems like there's some, still some very, very vibrant colors over there. Crazy. It looks so dark. Life looks so grim right now. This must look a lot better. Just look at it, wow. Those carvings. Oh, there comes Kim, quickly. Yeah. This is insane. Lady, this lady, is, please stop falling. This is the most beautiful. The colors here. Sir, sir, can you please stop this lady from worrying? It's really nice. Wow. 
It's also the only one that has security cameras on the inside. Mm, it does. Maybe there's still something valuable here. We can get rich very quickly. We can get our asses thrown in jail very quickly. Mm. Perspective. <laughs> Gotta risk it. Made it into the burial chamber here. There's a lot of people here, but just look at it. What is pretty nice though is that if you wait a few minutes, almost nobody here anymore. Really, really nice. Wow. That concludes our, our little tour of the three different tombs. I must say, three tombs were very, very well baked. They had, each had like something really cool of their own, so I really liked it. And now, time for the next site. So, I mean, mountains, mountains, mountains. Oh, temple carved into the mountains. Incredible! They made a whole temple into the mountains. This is the temple of Queen Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut. Now I'm pronouncing it right, I think. Um, it's the only temple that was built with three stories high, and she was the only female ruler of Egypt. You also have Cleopatra, but she was not uh, an Egyptian, so she was, a, she was the only Egyptian female ruler. Let's go and have a look. So here you have this small courtyard in the middle of the temple complex. It must have been quite a setting in that time, right? Like right in between the mountains. Small land, no, it's not really a small <laughs> courtyard, that's right. It's quite the courtyard actually. Just now on the second, on the third floor, just look at the height, look at those little specks there, they're, they're people. This is where it all the way goes. And up here, and then there's another floor there. Doesn't look so big when you see it from far away, but impressive. You can see we are really tough cookies. We take the long treacherous walk back to the entrance. I like the car. Fourth and last side of the day, the Hapu Temple. It's the temple of Ramses II. No? I think so. sunscreen in my eye. Oh, just look at this massive, massive temple. This is just the entrance way. There's a lot more over there, look, see, over there, and over there, and over there, wow! But just look at that facade, just look how big it is! Incredible, this is one of the, or this is the best preserved temple facade of all of Egypt, at least that's what I got, I was. Bye, Temple. Bye.